Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday, number 111. Thank you so much for whoever sends in your gameplay. I appreciate it. Uh, for those who don't know what this is, pretty much you send any games you have to this email right here. And it doesn't matter what gameplay it is. It could be PvP, which is 2s, 3s, RBGs. It could be PvE, Mythic Plus, or Raids. It could be Windwalker or Mistweaver. It doesn't matter. I think one of the best ways to improve at the game is to have somebody else look at your gameplay. So... Yeah, uh, it's also, it is free. Someone asked me if you have to pay. No, just send your gameplay to the email and I try to just go through the order that they come in. That, that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, if you have any gameplay, submit it. Today, we have Emma, who is a Mythic Plus goddess. Uh, she submitted a 24 junkyard with a lever uh, and all at four. If you finish it, it's not you and it's not the tank. Warlocks, I don't think it's the demon hunter or the hunter. I'm going with, I'm going with the hunter. I'm going with the hunter. We are vent here, it looks like. Uh we get the fall order going. And uh yeah, no, we're looking good. Oh, we do have the damage uh damage trinket, which is nice. Um Mythic Plus is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but the only way to improve is to uh do it. So uh, usually you skip here, go up hill, up this hill. You also get the shock bots, the shock bots, shock bots. You damage. You also have bots that give you haste and health and all that stuff. So uh, there's one right there. And yeah, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if you're gonna be learning much from this keystone, but I will do my best <laughs> to uh, to see if I see anything. I don't know. Uh, pull that mob. Looks like we're running. Gateway, yeah, I, I've I've done I I two chested a 20, 23 on this, but yeah, this is a twenty four, which is pretty big. So we're getting our bots right now. As long as you don't die, you keep the buff. It's uh oh, we don't have any of them yet, but DPS have them. Big pull here. It looks like it's what tyrannical, bursting. I don't know what that third was. Volcanic, yeah, volcanic. All right, actually not bad. Uh, affixes. So this is a pretty big pull. Essence font going. Um, Mystic Touch is kind of important because of Hunters, but I think we got Spinning Crane Cook when we first pulled and it doesn't expire in PvE. Good job pulling that, avoiding the circles. I swear, I always have people that have... I've had DPS that just think the, the circles give you a buff. I swear. Um, but yeah, good job with the bursting stacks as well. Mounting up. Where are we going now? I like the slime mount. I don't know. Yeah, we go up here. Maybe there's a bot up there. Maybe a mob that needs to get pulled. No? Oh, there we go. Look at that. There's a little shock bot. <laughs> Perfect. There, and that's the two. That's the buff right is the two hour buff right here. So, in case anyone wanted to know what it looked like. Oh, we got Essence Font going out. I'm assuming we're using Ancient Teachings. We are using Ancient Teachings here. Spinning Cray Kick is the debuff on everything. Really good for Hunter damage. And we're just going to crank damage. Obviously, we want to get out of this uh, green slime. Or not. There we go. Oh, my God. Usually, I get out of that so fast. I forgot you have so much time to actually do it. But, yeah, we got rid of the debuff. Then we rolled out, which is really good. This is Chigi as well. And we're using Force Set, so... We have a lot of healing. We have three stacks. There we go. There's the blackout kicks from the uh, teaching of the monastery. So that was a lot of damage, a lot of healing. Dispel on the t uh, tank can actually dispel himself, which is really good. Uh, I think most tanks can dispel poisons or diseases on them. Uh, only one person stack, so it's not that bad. Great job healing. We're getting stacks of ancient uh, teachings of the monastery. Got our blackout kick stacks just dropped. Or was that Chi stacks? I think it was Chi Gi. Running away from Consume, Dispel the Demon Hunter. And no, we're doing really good. We have Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist coming up in a second. We still have Mana T. We have, we have every single cooldown, which is nice. And so far, this run's going actually really smooth. I'm, it's weird that, like, unless you guys do a wipe, I don't see how anyone all at fours. This is Fallen Order here. Big pull, trying to get the cooldown reduction on it. It's been, it's been a win, pretty much, with the Fallen Order up. But normally nothing dies with Fallen Order up either, which is really, really nice. It's actually a really strong three minute cooldown. It's just uh it's just a three minute cooldown. But yeah, doing good. 
Spinning, still do damage. <clears throat> I'm just looking up at the buffs to see if we're like... I don't know, Emma, you play like so well. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at the buffs up here to see if like there's anything maybe you can min-max better, but... <clears throat> nah, <laughs> there isn't. There isn't. I kind of hope you mess up a mechanic secretly. So I can say, yo, just gotta, you know, avoid that mechanic. <sighs> but yeah, no, overall, no, the run's going pretty pretty smooth. You know what? Can I change my answer to the Demon Hunter leaving? I think he's got, like... I feel like Demon Hunter might be it. You know, I, I just have a weird feeling. Because the, the Hunter's just chilling. I thought the Hunter was would, like, die a few times and, like, rage quit and leave. But... I, I'm... <laughs> Starting to feel like this demon hunter might be it. No, we're doing good though. What? Oh, I thought that was a slime mount. I thought that was so cool. No, it's a little turtle mount. All right, looks like we're gonna bloodlust this boss, but we need to kill the rest of the ads first. So we're gonna go around. Oh, there's a little bot right there. Welding bot. I think that's health and healing to your like healing to the person, the player. Spinning here, good work. Four set, just do damage here. We've uh, ancient teachers in the monastery up, so we're just gonna do a ton of damage. Helps us heal, dispel that, perfect. Three stacks, shouldn't be too bad. Can normally heal it, go straight into the boss, which is good. This boss really doesn't have that many mechanics. It has, what, two or three? Uh, essentially, what you wanna do is you wanna stand in the circles of the little, these things right here, and avoid the green swirls. That's that's pretty much it. When so occasionally the bots will turn into slimes, and you want to kill the slime because then you can't stand the circle, and you need to stand in the circle because of the this right here. Uh, if you're not in a circle, you're pretty much just gonna die, especially on tyrannical. Tyrannical twenty four, you're definitely gonna die. So yeah, no, doing good. Great job, damage. I wish I could. What's our DPS? Yo, we're, yeah, we're cranking seven k DPS, which is pretty freaking insane. So that's really good. Um, slime di di died there. So we, we're just going to keep doing damage. Just a Fallen Order Toxic Wave here. Good job staying in the circle. Fallen Order. It's, everyone's going to have versatility, it seems like. Everyone has Essence Font, so obviously we have Engine Changings up. We have our stacks going. Yeah, probably send the Blackout Kicks now. Perfect. And we're just going to do damage. It's actually insane. Good stuff. Wait, the damage done overall isn't updating. Maybe that's not our maybe that's not our DPS. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. We're still owning this boss. Um, avoid, stay in the circle, and we should be able to kill this boss. We have two charges of renewing mist right now. That's right. We got two. Hey, Emma, you got two charges of renewing mist. You know, maybe we want to extend those with rising mist. Nah, doing a great job. Yeah, there you go. There's the two charges. Gunker is down. Uh, this boss, the final boss is actually real. Oh, this, wait, what's, oh, this is, what is this? Damage done overall? Oh, we're doing 8k DPS. Okay. Damn, all right. My bad. I was like, at the wrong meters. And 17k healing per second. Nah, oh, freaking insane. Um, Avoid these mobs. Probably going to go to the Trog boss next, which is King something. Oh, we're stuck. That's okay. We got out of there. So the Mythic Plus mount is actually really sick. I really like this. Oh, this is a really long route. Is this... A, oh, a little shock, a little bot there. Oh, wow. Cool. Cool. Looking good. What is that mount? What? That's like the tiniest little, little mount I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> All right. This is a pretty... This is actually a pretty... Rough pull, especially on Fort, but I think it's tyrannical week, so spin a win here. Fort Brew gets used, and what you want to do is you want to avoid the shock waves, and then we also have a uh, infiltrator, so you want to avoid the purple circles on the ground. But the most important thing, even though it's not fortified week, uh, you definitely want to avoid the shock waves. But we did a pretty good job of it, so nice. The infiltrator goes down. Probably saving the two crazy. What's that? What's the mob? Oh, Trixie, Trixie and Nano. Um, I guess for last, this must be maybe we're not. Bot gets here, Grease Bot. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the Grease Bot does. 
no clue. I don't know what the grease pot does. Uh, good skip here. Really, really good skip here. I like that mount. The crane's pretty cool. Um, this this kind of this half of the trash on this on this in this dungeon is pretty much just all frontals. So you just want to avoid the frontals and stay behind them. I would say uh, it's it's kind of hard when there's multiple trash packs though, and there's an infiltrator. It's just so hard to deal with all of it uh, when most of them have frontals. But no, we're doing a good job right now. Uh, we do have two charges over doing miss. That's all I'm gonna you know. That's all I'm gonna say. You haven't messed up any mechanics. Um, essence font here. A little skip through the hole right there. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, this could be a big pull. This could be a big pull. If, uh, if we want it to be, probably not. Paracross. Okay. Or ice trap. I guess we're trying to, uh, CC a target. Maybe so it stops patrolling. Or not. We're just going to do a big pull. Perfect. So this is the mini boss. It's not fortified a week, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it is, you know, it does do quite a bit of damage. Um, looks like we did use Fallen Order here. Just spin the wind during Fallen Order, especially when it's a big pull. It makes the cooldown reduction, like, a lot easier <coughs> and a lot faster. Sorry if I sound sick. It's because I am um, doing good. We killed the mini boss, so everyone's going to get health and mana, so we don't even need to even heal. Wait, we didn't kill them. Oh, we killed the infiltrator, not the mini boss. My fault. But yeah, we got to dispel those stacks on the tank and then nice, perfect. And then we should, we still have Chiji, we still have Life Cocoon. I don't think we have, we still have Revival for Bursting Stacks. Thankfully, there really aren't many large pulls unless it's like the Trog side. You could go pretty big pulls, but for Bursting, it, for this dungeon, it's actually not too bad. Uh, but we're doing 10k DPS, which is insane. Great job here. Kill the mini boss and we should be good. I don't know if there's enough room to kill the bosses yet though. Because you have the other half of this room. But we're making really, I mean. Almost got two bosses down and. Not even like a third of the way done. That's actually really, uh, really good. Dude, maybe we do have enough. No, nah, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think you have enough. Because the tank does this little wheelie thing. Little shock bot here. What's going on here? I've never done this before. Oh, we actually are pull. Okay, I guess there is enough room. All right, I don't know these strats. All right. I guess we're chilling behind here. So this this boss also only has like two mechanic, two or three mechanics. But I don't know. Maybe you avoid one of the mechanics by doing this. Uh, you want to kick the taze uh, as much as you can. Uh, that puts a dot. That does damage and puts a dot on somebody, and it really hurts. And then where's the second boss? Is this is he stacked on top? Yeah. Um, you want to not stand in front of the Omega Tage. You want to stand in the the gray cloud. That way you avoid the damage from the Omega Tage. We also turtled. Okay. Keep kicking Tage. We should be good. I guess both of them right here. This is actually insane. I've never seen the strat. <laughs> Love it. Makes it so much easier. And then the other one, you just don't want to stand in front of him. But uh, this, oh, yeah, that's 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 kind of why we kicked the tase, I think. But I think, oh, you know, we're doing pretty good. Maybe we should be res him. We don't have a B res. Maybe we have the warlock. Poor monks and no B res. Roll out. Don't stand in front of him. Nice, perfect. Volcanic damage is fine. Kill that one, perfect. Uh, this one. So this mob. Again, don't stand in front of them, but it's pretty much dead. So that strat was actually wicked. Really cool. I haven't seen that. Maybe that was in the Mythic Plus uh, tournament or something that I missed. But that was that was really, really cool. Uh, Demon Hunter is going to try to get as many bots back as he can. Demon Hunter is definitely leaving, by the way. I, I Demon Hunter is leaving. It's, it's not the Hunter. I'm, I'll stick with the Hunter. I'll stick with the Hunter. But I'm 99% sure it's going to be the Demon Hunter. I can feel it. Uh, so, yeah, this this is the part of the trash where it's going to be uh, bigger pulls. Um, we do have we don't have Revival for 22. Oh, the Demon Hunter is so leaving. Oh, he's so leaving. Um, the, this staff is going to have bigger pulls. We don't have Revival. We don't have Turo either. We don't have... We actually have nothing. We actually have nothing. So, yep. Oh, my God. I knew it. I, I You know, I guess the Hunter at the start, because it's always a Hunter. It's always a hunter. 
I had a feeling all this demon hunter. I knew, I knew as soon as like he started getting hit by mechanics by the slimes and like died at the on that second boss. I knew it. Oh my god, that's so crazy, man. Why, why do people rage like that? It, it's such a like turn off for people that are doing with the plus because this is twenty four. This is like pretty high. So when this even happens at high, at lower ones, it's even worse, man. It sucks. It sucks. Great job with the. With this pull, by the way, three stacks of bursting. You can probably heal through it, right? You're, you're Emma, Rebema, the the goddess Miss Weaver. I mean, you could heal through probably eight stacks, no cooldowns. Frowny face, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like, I, it's just so bizarre that like people, it's it's funny because like, he's the one that made the mistakes. You know what I mean? Like the demon hunter is the one <laughs> that made the mistakes. So like, I don't know. Um. Gyros, dry, whatever this thing is, the malfunctioning thing, run away when he spins. This is not for you, Emma. This is for anyone who's into Mythic Plus or trying to learn. Um, Snaring War, Snaring Swarm. Don't stand in front. Also, avoid the purple circles. Keep spinning to win, and we're doing pretty good right now. If we have Leg Sweep, it might be kind of nice, but we don't have to. Not that big a deal. Nice, uh, pff, nice Leg Sweep. Thanks for listening to me. Appreciate it. I'm just giving advice out for free, you know? <laughs> no no we're doing really good um you want to avoid the shock waves from the mobs and that's pretty much it i mean there's nothing no, these aren't the mobs that do it, it's the bigger trogs but these ones just throw trash and the smaller ones don't really do that much damage especially especially on tyrannical week it's like yeah but these big fellas right here yeah just avoid the shock the frontal shock wave <coughs> Yeah, so here's the shock wave. They turn, cast it. So you have time to avoid it. And it's a little ground, like, breaking. Um, and then if, I think if you have a purge, you can purge off the... Can't, can't they... Don't they get a buff? Maybe it's a soothe. I don't know. Shock wave, avoid it. Good job. Well done. We're doing a great job. Shock wave. Boom. Avoid it. Perfect. Doing a great job. We have all of our bot stuff up because we haven't died because we're insane. Uh, one bursting stack is nothing. Even if we got a second one, it's not that bad. And uh, yeah, so now we have King. Oh, we have the King Gobblemac. I knew it was King something. <laughs> he died because of his own. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's. Uh, he, he's actually. You know what? This Demon Hunter is. This Demon Hunter is actually embarrassed. Like, he's, he's just embarrassed that, like, he made mistakes and now he just wants to log up. I don't know. Uh, we fall in order here right off the rip. I think we're going to Bloodlust or Hero or Time Warp. There we go. There it is. Um, and we're just going to do damage here. So this boss has a few mechanics. So the first one is this uh, this AoE damage. Um, and then there's going to be something called a Charge Smash and what he's going to do is he's going to smash. He's going to make this little circle. You're going to want to get inside. When you get inside, you have this this uh, debuff. You go next to one of the poles. They're marked with markers here. And what that does is these little trogs that are spawning, they'll die instantly if they get close to it. Or they'll this thing will kill them. So see how they're dying? It zaps them. It zaps them. So then you, you essentially just focus on the boss. And the boss itself doesn't, again, doesn't have that many mechanics. This is also Chigi here doing a great job. Uh, we also have two charges of Renewing Mist. You know, just, just letting you know. Uh, we got two of them. There's Essence Font. Throw out another one. Perfect, Emma. Uh, charge Smash again. Uh, it does do quite a bit of damage on Tyrannical Week. So just do keep that in mind. But uh, for the most part, once you get that down, we have the Rumble here, which is the AoE damage. It does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, so you might need to trade Revival, Life Cocoon, um, stuff like that, GG, Fallen Order, just to heal through the damage. But it's 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 not too bad. Like It's not a one-shot. You have time between each like pulse to heal up. Um, I would recommend maybe Fallen Order 1, Revival the second one, and then... You could fort through yourself, life could somebody else, focus on healing other people. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's manageable for sure. And then obviously you have your teammates' cooldowns, which again, uh, if they have cooldowns or they're close to dying, they should use their cooldowns. Um, but yeah, no, we're doing really good right now. This boss is at, what, 15%? Doing a ton of damage here. We still have Revival. We have Life Cocoon. Um, we have two charges of Renewing Mist. And yeah, no, just gotta survive this rumble. We should be okay. Essence Font here is perfect healing 
Charge smash. Here we go. This is going to hurt. That great job getting everybody topped off before that charge smash. Because, again, if people don't recover from the rumble and then he does a charge smash, people are going to die. So, great job. We have one more boss left. 18% trash. We've already killed the mini boss. So, I think. Do we need to? We don't need to go to the right here, do we? No. You, I think we just killed the trash right in front of the last boss. We should be okay. All right. Yeah, so this is the this is the trash outside. You pull from the side here, and then you pull into the main pack, and then you just, yeah. Avoid the frontal, the rapid fire from the mecha, whatever it's called, um, the mecha thing, and just spin to win. Uh, on on non-fort week, it's, it's pretty easy pulls. Um, it is bursting, so we got three stacks. Hopefully, we kind of let those stacks go. Perfect. And we're doing really good. This is Fallen Order, so <clears throat> we shouldn't have too much trouble with this pack. And then we should have fallen order by the by the uh by the boss or when we need it for when he uh does a little transition. Um ten percent. We're gonna get the one of the last I think the last infiltrator will pull in this dungeon, and then we'll just keep spinning right here. Great job. Are we gonna pull this? Oh wow. It's a big pull. This oh wow. We're getting ballsy here. Second one, these are the last infiltrators, and we got the we just want to avoid the frontal. And uh I mean the scenario and swarm thing, I mean, it's it sucks getting hit by it. It's not mandatory, but just don't stand the purple puddles and we should be okay. This is Chi we're spinning to win, throw an envelope mist on somebody. Perfect. The warlock gets hit. Avoid, perfect. Uh rapid fire incoming. Oh, this might be a bubble. That is a bop from the pally, it seems like. Or lay on hands from the pally. Uh, which is good. Seed from the warlock. This also this was a pretty big pull, but it was it, I think you guys handled it pretty well. Oh, I think we're slept. Yeah, we're slept right now. But we killed an infiltrator, so we should. Oh, that damn frontal man. Yep, sleep. Oh, that that timing is incredible. Um, yeah, nothing we can do about it. We're gonna kill this, avoid that frontal for everybody, and then yeah, we'll get a rest from the pally. Redemption. So now that's all the trash. All we have left is the final boss. Oh, are we trying to get bots now? We have a minute to three chest it and what like five minutes to to uh, two chest it. Ooh, dude. Ooh. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, we're looking good. Looking damn fine right now. All right, so we're just gonna try to look for shock bots. Oh. Oh, we're also trying to get the infiltrator? Oh, wow. Oh, to get the bot? Okay. Oh, wow. Bots for days over here. Um, Tank says keep cooldowns for the boss. Yeah, obviously right now you don't want to do use any major cooldowns because you want your major cooldowns for the transition for the final boss because the final boss is like really easy. Uh, you can basically... It's like, I haven't had a group that couldn't one phase it. So you wanna you wanna one phase the boss. And we have seven minutes to two chest it, so you guys even without the demon hunter should be okay. Two phase anyway? Oh, so we're gonna try to two phase it? Oh maybe I mean I guess I guess on yeah, tyrannical weeks it's uh kinda rough. Uh this is fallen order here, so we're just gonna try to put versatility on everybody and crank damage. Uh we're doing a pretty good job of doing damage right now. Wh what are we doing right now? We're doing six K DPS, insane. Uh, avoid so for this phase you want to kill this and you want to avoid the bots you could rob this if you wanted to great binding shot from the hunter you could rob this <coughs> uh this bot <clears throat> they are affected by it um great job from your team avoiding it and yeah damn this thing has a lot of health holy cow and then you want to avoid the um these circles on the ground obviously they uh they will one shot you yeah, here come the bots again. I don't know if we have Rop or not, but uh, might help in this situation. Hunter's kind of taking it, avoiding. Perfect, life coon yourself, in a way. Great job avoiding those bots, oh my god. Hunter even has a debuff. All right, so we killed it, which means one of these two platforms is going to open up. What you need to do is you need to get to the end and like drain the energy, I think. So I think you're draining it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that gateway. Look at that gateway. Oh, my God. Click it. Perfect. Great. Everyone's there. You're draining it. And 
Oh, I forgot you're down. <laughs> you're down a player. So yeah, you probably will two phase it. Yeah. All right, I think it's gonna get drained. I think we're trying to min max it. There we go. So now that we drained it, uh, we want to probably hero. We don't even have hero for two minutes. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a two phase, but that's okay. Uh, you're down a player. I completely forgot you guys were down a player. <laughs> uh, it's close. It's, if you guys had hero, you guys probably could kill it, but oh my god. 30%. Alright, so you just need to live this next go, and, and you should be next go, like a PvP. You just need to avoid this next um, phase, and then you should be, just gotta live. Just live, and you guys take it. You guys will be fine. 21% uh, is uh, really, really good. <laughs> Especially without a DPS. So it's just the same thing over and over again. You want to kill this. Nice drop. Perfect. You want to kill this. And then you want to deplete the energy. And then you guys kill it. It looks like this is Fallen Order again. Uh, we're avoiding the bots. Perfect. Avoid the, the sky thing. The uh, swirls. No, we're doing good. We're doing a lot of good. The there are the shock bots again, or the shock bots. The, the I don't even know what to call them. What are they called? Bots. Avoiding. Perfect. We have tigers lost if someone is struggling, but I don't think anyone's struggling. I think everyone's doing a really good job. And now we just need to avoid. Now you just need to live. Debuff there, so we're gonna take some damage. Heal through it. A track that's gonna be a little bit of tank damage, so just put some hots, maybe an enveloping miss on the tank. Could even life cocoon three stacks is rough. Nice life cocoon, perfect. Glad you listened to me. And uh No, yeah, no, this is this is good. Mana's a little tight, but I, I think mana's done now. It doesn't even matter. You could actually use uh Dwarf Shadows. Yep, perfect. Dwarf Shadows to avoid this first platform, and then you could just kind of run up, like just avoid the bots. Oh, or gateway, even better. You know, no biggie. Perfect. Deplete. Nice. We have revival because this does, you, you are taking AOE damage during this phase. So we do have revival if we need to. Awesome. <laughs> Tank avoiding that. Oh, got hit by it. Are we, unless we did on purpose? I think we did. All right, here we go. This is it. We have bloodlust. I don't think we need it, but we got it. 35k. Hell yeah. 14k. Another one. Oh my god. Nice job. I hope this demon hunter didn't get loot. 24. Congratulations. Plus zero. You're insane. Nope. I mean, why? You know, why would you get loot? You know what I mean? <laughs> Really good work, worth the enemy. Nice. We got a ring, ring on the warlock, and I guarantee you the demon hunter got loot. So, yeah. Oh, you got Kara upper. Yeah, good luck. Well, that was a really good dungeon, Emma. Uh, not many critiques. Obviously, you've done like your insane at Mythic Plus, so I'm not surprised that you didn't make many mistakes. You knew, obviously, you know every mechanic. Uh, hey, sometimes there were two stacks for doing this. That's all I'm gonna say. That's my only critique. I don't have much for you. You did a really good job. Um, well done. I'm glad you timed it without the uh, demon hunter. I did guess the hunter, but I, I knew it was the demon hunter as soon as you started failing mechanics. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you have any more Mythic Plus, feel free. I mean, feel free to send it in. I, I actually like doing Mythic Plus. I like watching it too. So yeah, I, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this is helpful for anybody who maybe isn't insane at mythic plus and maybe trying to learn trying to get into it trying to learn you know see what what it's like to be a high rated misweaver in mythic plus this is it so yeah that's pretty much it for me if you have any questions at all of course please let me know I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later